Hello, I'm your guys, Rich Anime here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. The last episode, we went through the Lavender Pokemon Tower, and we met an old man, and he gave us the Pokey Flute, which is a flute that can be used in order to wake up sleeping Pokemon. So I go up here, what have you got to say? My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. TM27. TM27 is a move called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in battle. So it's basically the opposite to frustration. So moving on. Uh, yeah, so the areas... Anyway, as I was saying, we can finally go past the uh, trainer, the, the Snorlax. We have to fight this trainer well. Um, that was sleeping on the ground. Just have to find it and then we play the Pokey Flute and it would wake up. Of course, first off, we got a bunch of trainer battles our way, so we have to brute force our way through them, I guess. Uh, as you noticed, I have uh, leveled up my Ghastly a little bit. Uh, figured just do some training off screen because it was a level 15 when I got it. Oh, great confusion. Now. Um, I thought I'd just go over just some stuff with this Ghastly, just like, uh, move-wise. It did have the move Lick, it learnt a new move which was Confuse Ray, um, but Lick is basically a damaging type move, that's 20 power, and it can, um, have a chance of paralysing the opponent. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it all that much, but it's kind of there. <laughs> uh, Nightshade. It does damage dependent on um, the uh, user's level. And uh, Curse. Curse is a bit of like a different move. It's the only move in this game that is... The type of it is question mark, question mark, question mark. And it does something different depending on what type of Pokemon you are. So if you're a ghost type Pokemon, then you lose half of your health and your opponent loses health over time. Uh, if you're not a ghost type Pokemon, then your speed stat drops and it raises your attack and defense stats. Pretty strange how they chose that to have two different moves, but I like the idea of having a move that has a different outcome depending on what type of Pokemon you are. Speaking of ghost type Pokemon, ghost type Pokemon can't hurt uh, normal type Pokemon, and normal type Pokemon can't hurt ghost type Pokemon. So, um, yeah, I won't be able to fight any normal type Pokemon if any hit my way <laughs> after swapping out. Now, I would like to get my uh, Jenga up a decent amount of levels. At least as many as he can before he runs out of PP, but... Because <laughs> obviously at the moment he's um, not quite hitting everything the same way the other Pokemon on my team are. But he's still faring out quite fine at the moment. I mean, bear in mind that Goldeen was like five levels higher than him. Nope. <laughs> I like how my character just had like a little like <laughs> fit before I actually started moving because D pad. Hello, Snorlax. Yes, I'd like to use the Pokey Flute. And it was at this moment, Amigo realised he should have swapped his Pokemon because Ghastly is a ghost. Anyway, go, um, Ghost, what? <laughs> Snorlax? Um, no, I don't want to use that because we actually want to catch the Snorlax. Uh, okay, uh, so yeah, Snorlax is a normal type Pokemon. It has the ability Immunity or Fit Fat, Depend, depends really, uh, they can have either or ability. Uh, immunity prevents poison while Fit, fit Fat reduces fire and ice type of, um, moves the damage done. Now uh, Snorlax is known for its sleeping and um, I believe this specific Snorlax has the move Rest which basically makes it so it heals all of its Pokemon. It, all of its health. I just can't speak today, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I am um, actually, you know what? Fine, I'll sleep. <laughs> uh, rest kills all your health, as you can see right here, and then you wake up in about three times. Uh, snore, though, as you can see, the uh, snore mics just had that move. Uh, snore uh, makes it so you can use a move while you're asleep. So what it does is, so you have four moves. One of them's rest. I have another one snore, and uh, so in this case, headbutt. Uh, snore has a chance of using one of the other moves that you have that isn't snore. So it still has a chance of using rest, and it won't do anything because you're asleep. But it also has a chance of using headbutt. So you can use headbutt while you're asleep to essentially make it so you can attack while you're asleep, which is a pretty useful move. Of course, he stops using the rest. This is where I'm going to start attacking now. Um, oh yeah, I know he's got the chest to bury, ain't he? Forgot about that. Okay, yeah. uh, let's swap you out. Go on, Ivy Sean. Show them what you got. Now there are two Snorlaxes in the game, so you want to make sure you at least catch one of them. Well, assuming you're going for Pokedex. <sighs> Yawn basically makes it so the next turn after it lands, your, the Pokemon will fall asleep. So that's why I'm sw switching out. That's also why I used Rest before. Speaking of Rest, here comes the Rest again. Yeah, let's try the Great Ball again. Gosh, come on. No. Yes. I'm finally caught Snorlax. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes properly to sleep. Yes, I'd love to give him a nickname. Froggy. And then, yep, uh, that's big. Now yeah, we're gonna, I mean, that's Snorlax, but I called it big. Anyway, if we go in here, we can get another fishing rod. I'm the fishing guru's younger... Um, I think that's a brother, I just skipped over it. Either way, he gives us a super rod, which is kind of weird because we haven't received the good rod yet. The super rod is the best fishing rod in the game, and you get it before the good rod. I mean, I guess it depends because, um... Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> And we are back, so I also did some healing off screen. I also can't even remember what I was talking about right before I went through this. Uh, this is, can you go in this way? We're doing all the trainers that we can. There are some new Pokemon that we can catch here though. Can we, can we catch some here? I think we can. <laughs> you know I was thinking like the horse. Let me see. That is really far over there. Wait, is there more grass down here? There's more grass down here, so I'm gonna go to this bit and try. Okay, trainers, trainers, trainers everywhere. There's trainers, but we can avoid all the trainers. We don't want to see all the trainers, no. We don't like being social. We've got to avoid every encounter we can. Okay, there should be a new Pokemon in here, so we are going to look for that Pokemon. Hey, first try. Venonat. Okay, Venonat is a bug poison type Pokemon. Um, have we actually seen it before? Like, I, I can't remember. I don't remember seeing it before. Anyway, it has the ability Compound Eyes, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's an okay Pokemon. Like, if you like bug type Pokemon, like, it, it's worth like a shot. It's not the worst Pokemon, but it's also not the best. It's just kind of like, okay. I'm 
just gonna wear his health down little by little, assuming we don't get out of the... Okay, all that happens. Yay, hey, there we go. I was close to actually switching out the but it's a good thing I didn't. Okay, let's go for one more tackle, and then we're going to try and catch it with Great Ball. Now, there is actually more Pokemon that we can catch, though um, I'm not going to catch it in the specific bit now. Um, so we're currently on Route 13. Uh, Route 14 has a higher rate of finding the other Pokemon. So the other Pokemon I want to find is a Ditto, and it has a 5% chance of appearing on this route. Whereas on the other route it has a 15% chance, so once we get to Route 14 we'll try and catch a Ditto. I'd rather have a higher chance and try to catch it than, you know, not have a very high chance at all. Luckily we can avoid quite a lot of these trainers, which is quite nice. I spoke too soon. Anyway, um, we should be able to avoid both of these if we go around this way. There we go. And Route 14 is just ahead of us, ahead of us, ahead of us, ahead of us. Come on, second wave. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's 15. <laughs> 14's up here. Okay, there we go. And am I forced to fight all of these? Doesn't look like it. Cool. I will be fighting those off screen, uh, mostly for my Ghastly, just so my Ghastly can get leveled up. Uh, but for the purpose of the video, I don't want it to just be all trainer battles. There we go. That still took like quite a bit of time. So to be fair, 15% is still quite a bit. So Ditto. Ditto is a normal type Pokemon. Ditto is very unique in that it transforms into the Pokemon that it's fighting against using the move Transform. Um, it has the ability Limbo, which prevents paralysis. Um, yeah, Ditto is like very strange Pokemon. like. Just the ability to just not the ability, the move. But it's an ability, but it's not an ability. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, the ability to uh, transform into other Pokemon. It's quite a unique concept, you know. I quite like the idea, um, due to the fact that it has to use transform. Though it makes it so it's not really as good to use in this game. Like you'd, it'd be better if it transformed. As soon as it got into battle, uh, later games added its um, hidden ability in order for that to be able to happen. But of course this game doesn't have any hidden abilities. It's mostly the ability they start with, or some Pokemon will have two abilities. And of course, as you can see, he also has the same moves as me. So it's not just picking like moves that Ditto has, but as of Ivysaur, no. His ditto is literally my Ivysaur. <laughs> that is a random question of the day. Um, so, with the Pokemon trading card game, they released different art for certain Pokemon, and but they had like a ditto version of the Pokemon, so it would be that Pokemon, but their facial expression would be a little bit different. Uh, do you have like a favorite... Um, Pokemon card that has a version of Ditto engraved into it because I, I just like to know because I like looking at all those and I'm not a massive player on the TCG so there's probably a load that I haven't seen. Anyway, oh okay. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> We're going to be heading back down to just avoid these trainers. There we go. And uh, we can avoid the rest of these trainers just by going up here, actually. I thought that was Sailor Venus for a second, but that wasn't Sailor Venus. <laughs> oh, can I? Oh, cool, I can't avoid you. Okie dokie. And a bit more. There we go. And now we're finally at the place we wanted to head to. The next city of the game that has the. No, well, wait, no, Route 15. Okay, there we go, Fish Sea! <laughs> Fisher City is the next city where we wanted to head to, and it has the next gym of the game. So I'll be seeing you guys next time in Pokemon Fire Red. I was about to say Fuchsia Red, but that's that's the name of the city. Or it's name, not whatever. And yeah, uh, see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.